Okay, Engagement Excellence Summit, and on to my absolute favorite session of the uh, the whole summit. And you know, this is my moment to like totally fanboy out. I've got a new favorite in Alex Powell. So part of Reward Gateway, uh, the organization out in the US, and uh, got this little introduction, like, you know, anything that she doesn't know about recognition is not worth knowing. And that's high billing. You know, what are we gonna get? And right in from the front, uh, wonderfully engaging, wonderfully knowledgeable, uh, as I say, 10 out of 10, total fanboy now, I'm on team Alex. So, why was she so good? Uh, what was it? that I took away from this. Um, so we come back to respect, purpose, and relationship. So this concept of what people really want, we've got studies back into the 40s, 50s, 60s, and they are all summarizing the same things. So people want to work places with uh, self-expression, with purpose, where you have you know good relationships that you imagine really different environments, but it's just the people are still people. They still want these things. Indeed, she touched on an interesting piece about the generation. So we tend to think of sort of the, uh, the generations of boomers, Generation X, millennials, as very different, wanting different things. And it's just, it's not so much, when you look at it, it's not so much they want different things, but they have a different attitude and understanding towards how you might receive those things. So uh, positioning it as like, look, the boomer generation, the company provides your career. So you still want respect, purpose and relationship, but you join a company trusting that they will give it to you, that they will take you places, that you'll go around doing the work that's needed and that you will get those things. That then with Gen X, actually you start to get the generation that they were focused on the profession. So this is what I do, this is what um, I can deliver, and I can find that from different places. And then the millennials sort of being brought up by the uh, Gen X generation, um, who expect it, who say, yeah, that should be the norm. Uh, I want these things, and I can go to an organization that will deliver me these things. That's, that's what I should get, yes, surely. And yeah, that's what Gen X have raised their kids to believe. You know, they fought for it, they're going to get it. But ultimately, they're all after the same thing. So even though there's different generational attitudes towards work and how people might want to go about it, fundamentally, you're trying to deliver on those three aspects. And recognition is so powerful because it can hit every single one of those. So what I liked is just that it wasn't just... Uh, the talk. It was, okay, how are ways that you can do this? How can I help you understand what recognition is, how you do it, why you do it, where you do it, when you do it, and not just you, but how can I help you talk to other people about it? So you want to start a journey of recognition. Quick and easy ways, the one plus one plus one challenge. What is it? Can you Give one thank you on a daily basis. Just make sure you say thanks. Thank you. I appreciate what you did for me. That was great. Once a week, can you do something a bit more formal? So can you take a moment to really call out a great piece of work that's been done, whether that's in a team or sort of, you know, a more you know direct conversation and really sort of laying it out. And then once a month, can you do some sort of, uh, can you actually send a reward? Can you actually give something tangible to someone, um, whether or not it's a nomination into a recognition program or some sort of, you know, like token recognition, uh, sorry, uh, token of your recognition. And yeah, just simple ways to do it. And she was explaining like she diarizes Friday, third, fourth, uh, 3.30, reflect. Who's given me something this week that actually deserves a call out? You know, sort of build it in and build that culture of recognition. Because if you think about it, we are typically programmed to see what's broken, what's not working. And so you can become a bit negative. You can focus on what's not right and lose sight of what is good, of what is working. And this is a way to call it out. 
she gave a little bit of uh, advice on sort of how to recognize so you know ways to sort of do it right have a nice little acronym if you like acronyms so avi av so that's tell me the action so alex i really enjoyed the session that you did at the summit connect it to a value so a value in your organization um or you know sort of like the value that you want to see more of and it's just uh, for me, Alex, I really enjoyed your session at the summit. It was so insightful and inspiring. So I really got a lot out of it. And then share the impact to the I. Explain why it matters to you. So Alex, I really enjoyed your session at the engagement summit. It was really inspiring and insightful. And I feel better prepared now to go into a room of senior people of uh, shop floor workers and explain why we need to do something. So it's made me better at my job. Thank you so much. So there we go, building it, not just the thank you, um, you know, which is just simple thank you can be good, but working through all those things, action, value, impact, really sort of, you know, laying out why it is. But why are we recognizing? So I said, you know, now I feel I can explain to people uh, the value of it and what we're going to get out of it. And simply put, if you recognize, you'll get more. So recognize what you want to see more of. You know, just think about it. It's just like you do something, you don't hear anything about it. It exists in a vacuum. It's like maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. You don't have any objective point of view. You do something and someone comes along to you and they say, thank you for doing that. It's just like, oh, good. That made a difference. That made an impact. I've, I've helped people. This is good to do. So you do it and then you will do it again because you know you've been recognized. This is what I need to do to get more recognition. It feeds that sense. People want this. People want to know they're doing good work. So tell them. So, but importantly, um, it's not just about going above and beyond. And a, a lovely little piece sort of getting into sports analogies. Uh, Alex did her best for a British audience. She threw cricket into it for us. She only uses uh, the American football. But, you know, it, it works with any sort of sport, really. Because the thing is, recognition is not just about winning championships, okay, or tournaments. It is about recognizing the day-to-day -day effort and providing consistent feedback. So think about it. Um, you know, it's just, it's not just tournaments. You don't only praise someone when they win a tournament. You don't only praise people when they win matches. Think about it. What about good plays, good shots, putting in the hard effort, putting in the running, putting in the, the tackles, the, uh, the blocks? If you see someone doing good things, you cheer it. You say, great work, you know, brilliant tackle, come on. Okay, you cheer for these people. You recognize the effort. And the thing is, and that's because it is inspiring. You are saying good work. These are all the incremental gains, the pieces that build to the goals, to the score. This is what builds the wins. This is what builds the championships. So these are the blocks that you have to put in place. She explained the importance also of taking the time to sort of recognize outside of just your team and group. So back to the sort of the relationship um, angle that, um, yeah, actually, you know, just recognition is a really good way to share impact and sort of understanding and appreciation for what different areas do so if someone comes back to me and says i really appreciate what you did for me because it let me do this that's giving me some insight into what they do um i might even like really appreciate how i impact their work or what it is that they do and that's so important about what i do and that will make me feel good, obviously, but also it will help me connect to that person, make me understand that, again, we do not exist in a vacuum. Every job is intrinsically linked to every other job. Businesses do not employ dispensable people. They don't want to spend the money. 
Um, you know, if a job exists, it exists because it has a purpose and because it needs to do something. So taking the time to sort of recognize people outside of just your team and group and sort of calling out where their stuff has really helped you is really great at building those relationships, building that connectedness and sense of belongingness in the wider organization. Now, organizations can recognize anywhere. You know, recognition is not just one thing. Uh, I spoke before about sort of manager toolkit, you know, providing different ways to recognize that suit the organization and suit the people. So you can do it in one-to-ones, you can do it at someone's desk, you can do it in the corridor. Um, people put posters up or put it on screens. Um, if you have regular meetings, why not start your meetings and just start them sharing a success? On a positive note, call out, this happened. I just want to say to everybody, this was great. Thank you for doing that. That was really helpful. And also um, social media. Think about it. I mean, one of the things when I left my last organization, I realized how poor I am at making recommendations on LinkedIn, of calling out the great people that I really appreciate that did the really good work for me. And yeah, it's just like, let the whole world know these are great people. I want to sing the praises of the people I work with. I want, you know, everyone that's in my network to know, actually, if you need someone, this person, check them out. They're awesome because they do good things for me. So not on a daily basis, you know, but just, yeah, it's a tool. You can use it. You can call out people. And also, um, you know, a, a plug for Reward Gateway, but also genuinely a good point. Online recognition sort of so through internet sort of enabled um, tools like reward gateways recognition platform <coughs> but obviously like most modern ones is really a game changer because it is a really simple way to share and socialize recognition so it's so important that you can call out someone and say this was great and let everyone else see that you've called that out and you've you've said this is great and that they can talk about it and interact it, reinforce it and go, yeah, no, no, that was brilliant. I really appreciate it if you were the guy that was doing that. Um, and so it increases the value of the recognition. It increases the visibility. So back to that point, this, you recognize what you want to see more of. So if I do something and I get a thanks, it's like, oh, great, you know, that I did that and I got a thanks, I'll do more of that. But think about if you see someone else getting thanked for doing something. Oh, that's what gets thanks. That, that's what adds value. I should be doing some of that then, if, if, that's, if that's what we recognize, if that's what we value. So it becomes this kind of social memory and collective conscious where you can see what's being recognized. And importantly, check out people and see what's been said about them in the past. You know, see what gets called out, what is being appreciated. So it's a way to sort of take recognition that might just be small and isolated and sort of magnify it across the organization. Last little thing was um, sort of, you know, not to just leave this in a vacuum. So encourage people to sort of serve up opportunities to recognize each other. Um, so, you know, great if you can spot something and think, yeah, take the time to mention it. But think about leaders in your organization think about managers of your team how much would they appreciate you going to them and going i don't know if you knew this person in my team or in my area they did something it was great fantastic that gives them the chance to recognize their people and reinforce that message in a way that they you know they can't know everything they can't see everything they need to be kept informed so don't think of recognition as just something that you need to give it needs to be something that needs to be talked about wider. So, and feel free to, to share it. I mean, one of the things that makes me laugh is that, you know, uh, it's almost it's a semi joke, but it's serious that if you want to get a reputation as being a good person, uh, give good gossip about people behind their back. You know, like, oh, I would never say this to their face, but they're a really great person. Um, and, you know, that gets back and it gives you a reputation for being humble. And it's just like, yeah, it's a bit of a joke thing. But, at the same time, like how how good does it feel to know you've been talked about positively? To know you have a reputation for doing something that you didn't even know you had a reputation for doing. So, Alex, thank you so much. I've said this to you in person at the end of the session. You were ace, 
absolutely loved it. Total fanboy, Team Alex, and thank you very much. And with this, on to the final session of the day. <laughs>